over, for now anyway. The controversial cigarette smoking cartoon is being dropped from Camel Billboard ads. R.J. Reynolds says it will pull Joe Camel from its billboards through the end of the year. The company says Joe needs a short break to keep him fresh as a marketing device. Anti-smoking advocates have ripped the campaign, saying Joe Camel was designed to appeal to children. The people in New Jersey's Bedminster School District are looking for the high road, and there's hope that a new educational program might lead them there. Brother Coombs has more on a new project that you might call a class in courage. This is my mom. This is Eftehia. Isaac Dostas's life changed after meeting members of his family who survived the Holocaust. Seventh graders in Bedminster seemed moved too as he told how his uncle tried to transform the number Nazis tattooed on his arm with a sewing needle. Heated it up and started digging <coughs> to get the number up. The Holocaust stories now form the last class in a course he and his wife Diana teach called Moral Courage, A Way of Life. The worst of circumstances, people stood up, rescuers. We, as individuals, can make that kind of difference. The kids' first assignment was to commit a random act of kindness. Matt Trainer's homework made him see he could make a difference at home for his mom. Right now, like, she's been on a lot of pressure and stuff, and I just, like, help her out a lot. But it was the Holocaust class that hit very close to home for Maya Yadziamerovit, who thanked Isaac and Diana for teaching the course. Until last year, she experienced firsthand what happens when people lose sight of moral courage. I come from Bosnia and the last class we had um, they talked about war and everything so I just kind of got sad and remembered about my country. The main lesson, say Isaac and Diana, is that acts of moral courage don't just happen during times of crisis like the Holocaust and the civil rights movement. They begin with practicing understanding and kindness in our everyday lives. In Bedminster, I'm Bertha Coombs, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. A fascinating project, and Isaac and Diana have been commissioned to teach the course at a number of other schools in New Jersey. They were actors who developed this course from a play based upon the family's Holocaust stories. A lesson to be learned about the water we drink. Up next on Eyewitness News, an important study about a possible danger on tap. We're also on call with Dr. Jay Athersberg. New information about what may cause ear infections in kids. Coming up next on Eyewitness News. Their dreams evaporated in both the 1991 and 1992 World Series. Watching the Minnesota Twins and Toronto Blue Jays celebrate the fulfillment of their dreams has left a residue of disappointment and frustration for Atlanta's veterans. Tonight, they are but a single one away from glory and vindication. In his first World Series, baseball's best pitcher, Greg Maddox, is poised and ready for the clincher after dominating the Cleveland Indians in game one. erased lost decades of futility while stirring memories of past heroes turned to Oral Hershiser who pitched masterfully for six innings in game one before yielding to the Braves and Maddox. Can he stop the Braves tonight to give the Indians new life? 